Hi, it's the nuclear proctologist. Fukushima Unit 4, they built a stack up and across it and they put a cap on it. That's all they've done. The buildings don't touch each other. Eventually, you're going to put a crane up there at the top of it, right? But remember, the building was destroyed. They tore it apart. And I'll get you a picture. They tore it apart. And then they put that structure there. And I'll get you a better picture. They put that structure there, and in the future, they're going to put a crane in it, and they're going to try to reach down to the building. But they're showing you all through the media and TEPCO, and everybody's saying this is the interior. Do you get it? You can't have an interior like that because you can't get in there and work. But they're going to deceive you like Connecting Dots 2 tried to do, and say, oh, no, they built a structure. The structure doesn't have the fuel pool in it. The structure doesn't have anything in it. Right, the fuel pool is down that they're claiming is there has to be down below. But as you can see, the building was utterly destroyed in the detonations. Right, so the fable is to keep you thinking that there's a perfect symmetrical piece in that building that survived it, and that now that they have a structure built over it, right. Then if they got that structure built over, uh, if they had the fuel pool this nice, remember this, if everything was this nice on the inside, they wouldn't need that. I'm the nuclear proctologist. You can find me at the nuclearproctologist.org or at beautifulgirlbydana.com.